on the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. Yeah. We all look for simple adjustments in our diet in order to make our meals healthier, but some of you may be using something like coconut oil for cooking. Not so fast, so according to new research in the American Heart Association, what they're saying about it, folks, pay close attention. Joining us this morning with some surprising results, Baptist Health cardiologist, Dr. Scott Davis. Dr. Davis, thanks hey, for coming in. This is something, you know, we think of coconuts, right. we think of healthy. Coconut water is something that a lot of people use for hydration, yep. uh, although it tastes terrible, but it's something that people love to use because <laughs> right. it gets the, the, you know, the electrolytes and whatnot moving. But this is a, a coconut oil that people have tried to use now for a while, and new study says maybe not use it as so much. So let's, let's take a step back. Yeah. All hinges on the whole saturated fat concept. Okay. Right? You know, remember there's saturated and then polyunsaturated fat. Saturated fat's your bad fat. Butter, you know, red meat, that raises the LDL, the bad cholesterol. Okay. And so, just to put things on par, give you kind of some reference then, so butter is about 63% saturated fat. Meat, red meat's about 50% saturated fat. New research has shown that coconut oil is 82% saturated fat. <laughs> so, yeah, and so, it, it just, it's one of those things where as we continue to raise awareness, you know, and, and no one is implying that in the state of Arkansas there's a whole lot of people cooking with coconut oil. Yeah, right, I mean, we, yeah. we know that, but as far as just looking at your day-to-day -day activities, little little changes can make a big difference. So shifting from coconut oil to something more polyunsaturated like uh, corn oil or peanut oil or soy yeah. would be a much better choice. And and it it it's been shown that if you can just you know cook differently one day a week. If you can remove red meat one day a week from your diet, or if you can choose one less cookie, it makes a global impact in your overall health. Now, something, a couple things you mentioned there that we use a lot, butter for cooking, right. a lot, Right. you know, 63%. Uh, red meat, used yep. in so many recipes out there, it's Absolutely. tough to even count. So maybe not just, maybe not eliminating it is what right. you're saying, but just cutting back on it like you do with those other things, a absolutely. right? Absolutely, yeah. so it, it, the whole purpose of this is uh, is awareness, yeah. once again. M more lives will be claimed from heart disease than diseases two through five combined. Which is so staggering. mind -boggling. yeah. Absolutely, and so anything that we can do then to raise awareness, and so it, it, it's the whole, you know, you would think if you're gonna do the Mediterranean diet, which right. is very healthy, yes. right? It's, it's high in, in nuts, and and high in fruits and 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 and, and, and fish tons and chicken, veggies, yeah. right? You would think, oh well, coconuts. I mean, you know, you go to the islands, that's what you see. Yeah, well, yeah. it's it's just kind of that whole. All right, start paying attention. Let's start being more label conscious about what you know is going into our bodies these days. Okay, some important things to remember Absolutely. next time you're in the kitchen, and they always stay up to date on the latest studies there at Baptist Health, and you can give them a call at the number on your screen anytime, or go to Baptist Health or BaptistHealth.com. Great Good to see you, man. as always, Dr. Davis. We'll see you next time, buddy.